Bob Elite on screen the first of all, Jenny. Cheek piece is on here, down in great. I thought he'd run some okay races his last two for dinnership. Yeah, look, I think so. And he's making his Class 5 debut, so he could be well suited here. He's gone a little wintry in his coat, but he's still got a healthy enough shine to it. Nice and bright and alert. Appears to be walking out freely enough. Neat type. Has got some strength in the chest area there. So he's a seven-year-old now, and I think with Zach on, he's probably a chance. He's just got to negotiate gate number 12. That's probably going to be the hardest thing here. So if he can get across early and get himself some cover, I could see him possibly running well. Nothing wrong with him. That's Bulba leads. He's one of uh, he's one in class four. That's where his win came. He's now down here into class five. They try the cheek pieces for the first time. It just got that awkward draw, barrier twelve. But it's a deadly combination of Dennis Yip and Zach Purden, and you got to keep, take two looks at them when they team up together. Here's one I quite like though. Number one, um, humble steed. Uh, this horse is another one that's been downgraded. He's a two-time winner in this grade, and he's to be ridden by Karis Teton. Yeah, look, he looks a treat. Um, they are planning on taking him out early, this horse, and um, you can see why. He's just very much on his toes. In fact, we've got four of them going out early here, so we've got a few that uh, can misbehave. They've got a couple of handlers on this guy. He's really healthy in his coat. He does look fit. He's strong in all the right places. Uh, it is class five for him, so he gets the, the, the class drop here and definitely looks well enough to run really well. He is making good ground over the final stages, I thought. Uh, Humble Steed last time out is when in class five going back uh, to uh, May. He's put on 30 pounds since his last start effort uh, two behind some streets somewhere. Karis Teton and Ben O'Young. Let's roll on to uh, number four, Wonderful Tiger. We know he's not an easy customer to uh, deal with uh, Jenny. He's not an easy ride, gets, uh, gets his head up. Uh, never really settled at all last time either. Yeah, look, he's a horse that actually hit a rating of 22, and then uh, Chris So did really well with him. He was able to win three white races with him, and he, he's up to a, a rating of 36 at the moment. Uh, he looks in pretty good order. Now, he was set off. He, he is a horse that has been able to misbehave in the parade on numerous occasions, and in recent times he's been better, but last, uh, last time he stepped out, there was a horse in front of him that went off, and it set him off. So at the moment, he's behaving himself well. He's maintained his overall strength. He's gone quite quite wintry in his coat. Uh, he does still carry that condition around the midsection, so he's put on nine pounds, but it, I'm not worried about that. I think he actually looks well. I like his fluency. One of the outsiders is the next one we'll take a look at here, which is number three, Star Win. The cheek pieces will come off uh, Star Win. Uh, he said the six starts. He hasn't banked the check yet, and uh, it's got an awkward draw in barrier nine. Uh, this horse has always lacked a little bit of overall strength. He's very placid and quiet, but he's narrow-chested and he doesn't have much strength in those hind quarters. Uh, very sort of lean-looking type. Weighs in 1,054 pounds. So the best thing about him appearance-wise is probably his attitude. Um, but, he, yeah, I'd like to see a bit more strength. Uh, walking, OK. Uh, it doesn't appear to be too much wrong with his fluency. But, yeah, just lacks that overall strength. Yeah, cheek pieces off uh, today. He's only battled in his uh, six runs to date so far. Has uh, star win. Move on to the next of them. I think it's smiling success. It is at uh, ten and three point four. Blinkers off. Pfizer goes on for the first time. Jimmy Ting, Matthew Poon. I thought he may have just been a bit one paced over those uh, last couple of hundred metres, Jenny. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, maybe. Um, he is a horse that. He's maybe a tad dull in his coat. He's a very long-bodied horse, though. Uh, very quiet, does walk out nice and freely, and looks particularly fit. So from gate two, if they do go forward here, I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see him put himself in the picture. Definitely fit enough to run a good race, and he's quite sensible here in the parade. Double-figure price, too, if you do like the five. He's now 10 and 3.4. Four smiling success, excuse me. He's the blinkers off. The visor will go back on, or go on for the first time from barrier two he should get a nice run next one number six is uh, president star uh, he's had 11 starts here he's had he's had one one good race here at uh, happy valley over 1800 meters uh, back here to 1650 alfred chan from barrier 11. Uh, another one he's just a bit of a lightly framed individual quiet enough but lacks a little bit of strength in those hind quarters and the chest area there walking out okay a very plain individual um, i think he looks okay but I, I couldn't give him too much more than that he's class five so you never know what what might happen here but uh, on looks he'll miss out in the top four okay president star went a long way back with him last time out he has raced handier in the past elfie chan rides for uh, daddy shum with uh, number six, President Star. 11 starts, just one minor plague, and that was over the 1800 metres here uh, at uh, Happy Valley. And behind a claimed light going back to uh, 
earlier in the year. Nitro Express, uh, some OK runs from him, him in his last two. Uh, Jenny, he's yet to win in this grade from his uh, five outings, but I thought he kept on OK. Yeah, look, I think he's probably had every chance in, in a number of his ra recent racing anyway. Um, he is a nine-year-old now, so getting on a little bit, but at least he, he has got um, some wins on the board. He's won three races. Very calm and relaxed, as he always is in the parade. He looks uh, nice and healthy in his coat, uh, scopy type, very fit. Is still walking out well for an older horse, so oh, he might just need a slight loosen up in front as he goes past me there. So it's only very minor. I wouldn't be overly concerned about that. I'll leave him on a place line. And uh, he is paying 16 and 4.6 currently, so decent place price for Nitro Express. Neil Cullen, he uh, rides this horse regularly and he's back on board here with David Ferraris, the trainer, the 7 Nitro Express. Next one we're going to have a look at here is the eight, which is Wonder Win. Now, uh, he's had 10 starts, hasn't done too much in the 10 starts. So far, the best being a fifth at Shouten. Derek Long from Barrier 6. Yeah, look, uh, he's run three back, wasn't too bad. So um, perhaps he, he's got an opportunity to improve in a week race like this. Uh, he's got the two handlers on him, very quiet and relaxed here in the parade. He's only very small in size, but he's neat enough and um, he is walking out quite fluently and I do like his attitude. So he's not the worst. OK, Peter Ho and uh, Derek Long teaming up but with uh, this uh, son of Piero, who's uh, in the market at 16 and 4.9. So we Short price than he was at the last start. Has gone around at 9.9 .9 in the past behind a smiling success. Has one to win. But uh, yet to be in the top four from 10 outings. Treasure chest, he was caught quite wide into the first turn. Uh, Jenny had to push forward and race up outside to the leader. And it was uh, where he was uh, relegated from the second to third because he veered out sharply at the 150. Uh, yeah, look, he did, and um, I, I think the way he's come into the parade here, though, you've still got to give him some sort of consideration. He's well in the market. He's a horse that does have strength, particularly in those hind quarters and the chest area there. He's about your average height, um, but he does look fit. The only negative with him is he's just got himself slightly warm, but not enough to be overly concerned about. So um, I think he actually parades quite well. It is the number nine, the treasure chest, right in the market too, at 6.6 .6 and 2.6, so plenty of support around the nine. He's a 16 start maiden, but has run some pretty consistent races. Wagner Borges should uh, get a nice enough run too from barrier number three, and uh, he should be uh, pretty close to the pace there, the nine at treasure chest, currently a 6.6 .6 and a 2.6 chance of the nine. Field of 12 here for the first, 16.50, a class five event. We've seen the first nine. We've got to look at the last three now. And the next one, who should come right on cue here with a bit of luck, and there he is, is number 10, Verta Star. He is the favourite, uh, Verta Star. Alexi Bedell from Barrier 5. But like a London bus, can two come together at the same time? He's had one win, and that was his last start. Yeah, look, he's uh, he's actually parading quite well. He's a horse that is, um, he'd never been totally smooth in front, so this is normal the way that he walks, so I'd be willing to ignore that. I do like his uh, relaxed attitude. Uh, he's a very healthy looking horse and he is very fit. He's got plenty of scope and he's got a little bit of size about him too. So by his standards, that's probably as good as you're going to get. Okay, it's Verda Stark and see Jenny, uh, that uh, wonderful tiger behind you is really starting to uh, jack up. Fire up. Backwards before and... Uh, <laughs> He's uh, certainly in one of his moods again that this afternoon is uh, Wonderful Tiger. So we had a good look there at uh, Berta Star on the screen. Couple more to see Winner's Brother and keep winning for this uh, first race of the day. One's at 10s and one's at 21s. That is uh, keep winning. There's a few of the uh, horses that get stirred up are about to uh, go out, including Wonderful Tiger is really starting to get the jog on now. As we look at uh, the 11 on screen, Jenny Winner's Brother. It's actually a better run from him last time out. He was promoted from third to second placing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching one of the poor Marfus just uh, galloping away to get away from him. So, sorry, which one uh, was that, Tom? Uh, Winner's brother. Oh, winner's brother. Um, look, he's a, he's a rather fit-looking horse here. He's behaved himself quite nicely. Uh, he just needs a tiny little loosen up in front. A bit of a, a lightly framed individual, though. 1,058 pounds is what he weighs in at. But, oh, cool. Jeez, that was lucky. Uh, <laughs> that was Nitro Express uh, getting uh, a little close. Uh, but, yeah, look, he's, he's OK. His coat's all right. And, uh, sorry, guys. It's, it's all happening here. Um, Plain enough horse, but, but fit. 
Nitro Express, a nine-year-old, you'd think you'd know better. <laughs> but he's, uh, he's out on, yeah, he's been uh, been around here a few times. He's out on the track now. Uh, Nitro Express and Neil Callan's aboard. So uh, you can see that on screen there for yourself, and away he goes. Uh, Nitro Express is currently a 16 to 1 chance. The bottom one, Jetty's number 12, keep winning, getting really down on the ratings now, down to a rating at 23. Antoine Hamlin from barrier number 7. Look, he's a two-time winner on the all-weather surface. He's behaved himself really quite well compared to a few of the others in this, so that's probably been the biggest positive with him. He needs a little loosen up now. His jockey's jumped on board. Uh, he'd need enough type, but he does carry a little bit of weight around the midsection. Healthy enough, gone a little wintry in his coat, but he's okay. Um, I, I still prefer a few others.